Are you considering purchasing a cruise drinking package but unsure if it's the best choice for you? In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about cruise drinking packages to help you make an informed decision. We summarized for you the top 10 things to know about drinking packages. So, grab a drink or not, and let's get started. Welcome to Explore With Us. The Family Travel Channel. Welcome back to our Explore With Us Family Travel Channel. Many cruise lines offer beverage packages for guests who want to enjoy alcoholic or non-alcoholic drinks while on board. These packages can be a great way to save money on drinks and avoid unexpected charges at the end of your cruise. When considering purchasing a drinking package on a cruise line, there are several important factors to consider. First, it's important to review the cost of the package and compare it to the cost of individual drinks. This will help you determine if the package is a cost-effective choice for you. You should also review the types of drinks that are included in the package. Some packages may only include certain types of alcohol, such as beer and wine, while others may include a wider variety of drinks, including premium spirits and cocktails. It's also important to review any restrictions or limitations on the package. Some cruise lines may limit the number of drinks that can be consumed per day or restrict the use of the package to certain bars or restaurants on board. Additionally, it's a good idea to consider whether you will be spending enough time on board to make the package worthwhile. If you plan on spending a lot of time off the ship, or if you don't drink alcohol frequently, the package may not be the best choice for you. Finally, you should consider any alternatives or upgrades that may be available. Some cruise lines offer the option to upgrade or downgrade to a different package, while others may offer non-alcoholic beverage packages for those who don't drink alcohol. By considering these factors, you can make an informed decision about whether a drinking package is the right choice for you while cruising. We consolidate for you the 10 most important topics to know about cruise drinking packages. Number 1. What's included? Some cruise lines offer different tiers of beverage packages, each with varying levels of drink options. For example, a basic package may only include certain types of beer and wine, while a premium package may offer top-shelf liquors and specialty cocktails. It's important to review the details of each package to determine which one is right for you. Number 2. Cost. The cost of a beverage package can vary widely depending on the cruise line and the length of your cruise. Some cruise lines offer packages that cover only alcoholic drinks, while others include both alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. Some packages also include gratuities, while others do not. When comparing prices, be sure to factor in any discounts or promotions that may be available. We hope you're enjoying this virtual journey around the world with some of the best cruise lines in the industry. If you're finding this video helpful and informative, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to our family travel channel for more travel tips, inspiration, and virtual journeys. Your support means the world to us. Now, let's get back to exploring. You will find on our channel several videos which go more into details about the drinking packages. You will find their cost comparisons, drinking menus, drink prices, FAQs and many more tips around thinking packages. And hints if a drinking package is the right choice for you and if so which one at best. Have a look. Number 3. Restrictions. In addition to drink limits and usage restrictions, some cruise lines also have age restrictions on their beverage packages. For example, some packages may only be available to guests 21 and over. It's important to review the terms and conditions of each package before making a purchase to ensure that you are eligible. Number 4. Is it worth it? The value of a beverage package depends on your individual drinking habits and preferences. If you plan to enjoy several drinks each day and prefer to have the convenience of a prepaid package, it may be worth the cost. On the other hand, if you only plan to have a few drinks or prefer to pay for drinks as you go, a package may not be necessary. Number 5. Alternatives. If a beverage package doesn't seem like the right option for you, there are other ways to save money on drinks while on board. 
Many cruise lines offer happy hour specials and daily drink specials, and some also offer drink vouchers or coupons. You can also bring your own wine or champagne on board for a corkage fee. Number 6. Drink Limits Some cruise lines impose limits on the number of drinks that can be consumed per day. This is typically done to promote responsible drinking and prevent excessive alcohol consumption. If you are someone who enjoys a few drinks throughout the day, but not enough to exceed the limit, this may not be an issue for you. However, if you plan on drinking more than the limit allows, you may want to reconsider purchasing a package. Number 7. Upgrading or downgrading. If you purchase a beverage package and later find that it doesn't meet your needs, many cruise lines offer the option to upgrade or downgrade to a different package. This can be done either online or on board the ship. Keep in mind that upgrading to a higher tier package may result in additional charges, while downgrading may result in a partial refund. Number 8. Sharing packages. In some cases, beverage packages can be shared among multiple people in a cabin. For example, a couple may choose to purchase one package and share the included drinks. However, some cruise lines do not allow this and require each person to purchase their own package. It's important to review the terms and conditions of each package to determine if sharing is allowed. Number 9. Specialty drinks. Some cruise lines offer specialty drinks that are not included in beverage packages. These may include premium coffees, fresh squeezed juices, and specialty cocktails that require additional ingredients or preparation. If you are a fan of these types of drinks, you may want to budget accordingly or consider purchasing a package that includes them. Number 10. Non-alcoholic packages. For those who do not consume alcohol, many cruise lines offer non-alcoholic beverage packages that include soft drinks, juices, and bottled water. These packages are often less expensive than their alcoholic counterparts and can be a great option for families or individuals who prefer non-alcoholic beverages. When it comes to drinking packages on cruises, here are some extra tips to keep in mind. Read the terms and conditions. Make sure to carefully read the terms and conditions of the drinking package before purchasing it. This will help you understand what drinks are included, what restrictions apply, and whether there are any blackout dates or times. Determine your drinking habits. Consider your drinking habits and whether a package is worth it for you. If you don't plan on drinking much, it may not be worth the cost. Take advantage of the package. If you do purchase a package, make sure to take advantage of it. Try different drinks and visit different bars on the ship. Just be sure to drink responsibly and stay hydrated. Know the gratuity policy. Some cruise lines include gratuity in the package price, while others add it on as an additional charge. Make sure you understand the gratuity policy before purchasing a package. Be aware of restrictions. Most drinking packages have restrictions on the number of drinks you can order at one time and the types of drinks that are included. Be aware of these restrictions and plan accordingly. Keep track of your drinks. If you do purchase a package, keep track of your drinks to make sure you are not overindulging. It's easy to lose track of how much you've had to drink on a cruise, so be mindful of your alcohol consumption. Overall, Drinking packages can be a great way to save money on drinks while on a cruise, but it's important to understand the terms and conditions and drink responsibly. In conclusion, while cruise drinking packages can be a great way to enjoy a variety of beverages while on board, it's important to review the details of each package to determine if it's the right choice for you. Be sure to factor in cost, restrictions, and drink limits, as well as any alternatives or upgrades that may be available. With a little research, you can find the perfect package or drink strategy to fit your needs and preferences while cruising. If you enjoyed this clip, give us thumbs up. 
We would appreciate also a comment from you and hear about your views here. We would also like to recommend you our other videos on our channel. Have a look. And of course, don't forget to press the subscribe button and activate the bell so that you don't miss out on our regular clip uploads with great infos for you. We would strongly like to recommend you these two clips here as well. They will give you more tips, hints, and recommendations as a top up to this video here. Don't miss out on great hints and have a look. Otherwise thank you for watching, and see you in the next clip.